In this short tutorial, we're going to explore how to download Collaborate recordings from a Blackboard Ultra course shell. To do so, you'll notice that I've already begun in a Blackboard course shell. I'm going to begin by looking in the Details and Actions area on the left-hand side. We'll navigate down to where we see Blackboard Collaborate. And to the right of Blackboard Collaborate, you'll notice that there are three dots here. If I hover my mouse over this, you'll notice that this opens up more options for Collaborate. I'll select this and we'll see that a pop-up window appears. From here, I'll navigate down until I find View All Recordings and we'll select this. We'll be redirected to another menu and this is automatically the Recordings tab. This is a little bit different from Blackboard Original um, where we have to navigate and actually find the Recordings tab. Here we're automatically directed to the Recordings tab when we're working in an Ultra course shell. We'll see below the uh, recording name. Now it is possible that the recording uh, or recordings may not be showing here depending on how recently they were created. And um, I want to direct your attention to this area in the upper right that says Recent Recordings and Filter By. If you don't see recordings, you may want to try switching this to Record in a Range. And then changing the year back to prior to whenever this course existed. A lot of times, um, if you've recorded uh, videos that are a year or two old, this isn't going to display because it's not considered recent. So I normally say the fastest way to do this is just um, change the year on this. So maybe I would go from 21 down to 19 or something like that. A lot of times that will then display um, all of the lists of recordings and sessions. The other thing that I want to show you is prior to download, you'll notice that this just reads recording underscore one. And in the sake of keeping organized, what I normally recommend doing is um, relabeling this to something a little bit more meaningful. So I come over to the right hand side where I see the circle with the three dots in it. And this is our recordings option area. I'll select this and before I download this video, I'm going to look inside the recording settings. And you'll notice that here I can actually change the name of this. So one thing that I would normally suggest doing here is using the course um, name possibly or number and then I would um, put whatever week this came from. I think that that'll make um, this a little bit easier to navigate when these recordings download onto your computer. Then we would of course save this and you'll see that at the end of this session we would have if we added a name uh, for the course and a week we would have that as part of the file title. To download we come back over to recording options and we select this download button. This will automatically download the recording in an MP4 format, uh, MP4 format to your recording and you'll have to locate that recording on your computer. That recording then can be uploaded into um, a different video hosting system or editor. Uh, example would potentially be Panopto. But that's how you obtain your recordings from an Blackboard Ultra course shell. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to us in the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.